when it comes to the africa israel relationship yeah you know we see um our ceo was just at um an african leadership summit where um leaders from from all over africa were in jerusalem um and sh- like hearing from sharing and, and connecting with israelis israeli businessmen israeli tech people uh israeli security people right it was it was there were so many things that were discussed and there are so many partners on the ground i think that have been that have been doing this for years now in terms of just this relationship we we, we see it all the time right israeli ngos israeli businesses even even government um entities working alongside african ngos and businesses and and you know unfortunately on a governmental level sometimes we don't see that as much we either see in south africa's case the government more hostile or we see um like when we see in the un a lot of african countries that that don't vote that either vote against israel or abstain when it comes to voting for Israel, all those things but but in terms of on the ground though the people on the ground the culture the young people the people like you and me who are you know who have things going on and and they want partners and they want strategic partners there's a lot of cooperation going on and i see this as a potential um i think tucker carlson which had just met with the president of serbia mm-hmm. he was sharing that this is that power could very well shift to the east and move away from the mm-hmm. west mm-hmm. um and I, I i believe that i think we've been kind of seeing that for the past few years now but i believe that that's happening and in that shifting africa and israel that alliance could really be on top that really could be the next global power is that that powerhouse that that um that dual um you know uh ruler if you will like you know global superpower type of thing um what do you think how do you think this affects the africa israel relationship well first of all i think that people in our space need to start paying more attention to what's happening on the african continent uh thankfully not only because of our heritage and our focus in relation to our audience but also prophetically we've been able to say you know in africa there's something that's going to be happening soon and so for those who who don't necessarily care about the prophecies or maybe may not even care about um, africa as a continent if you care about economy if you care about political power and if you care about social power if you care about culture i mean there are just so many um things that are adding up it's almost like a scaffold that it really is making ignoring the Africa-Israel relationship something that would happen to a person or an organization's detriment. And so whether it's because of BRICS and the growing influence and power economically of BRICS, politically as well in relation of uh, in relation of BRICS, you know, we're not only talking about the shift of um, economic power from the West to the East, but also political power. One also thinks about the UN and other um, entities of, of the United Nations. I've been saying for years that the next Security Council seat that's going to be permanent is going to be awarded to Africa. And so countries like Israel Israel that want to ensure that there is a um, a partner and ally on the um, Security Council that's able to veto decisions that are not in favor of it should be supporting um, uh, Africa. And yes, when we talk Africa, we don't talk about it as a country, even though sometimes we can allude to it as if it's a country. It's, it's made up of 54 um, 54 individual and, and sovereign mm-hmm. countries, most of them sovereign. Um, it, it, it it's important that we need to start um, paying attention to it. So if we're talking about Israel being put in a position where it can become more secure, where its people can become more secure, where opportunities that Israel has for the betterment of its people, but also to give to the rest of the world, and frankly, also the opportunity for um, countries across the world that want to uh, benefit from Africa. Africa has got the world's largest um, amount of arable land. It's got in 2020, in 2030, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe it's 2050, it's going to be having half of the world's youth population on the continent. We have got riches, we've got minerals, we've got timber, fish, diamond, gold ore. I mean, we can go on and on and on. And so other countries, if they're looking for partners with regards to investment as well as manufacturing opportunities, it makes sense to start paying attention to Africa and more specifically the Africa-Israel relationship. So if you haven't been reading about Africa and Israel, if you haven't been studying, if you haven't been following, it's it's time that you do that.